Welcome to the next on shape video for modeling the Lux light robot. Uh, so far you should have created these various parts. The next part we're going to create uh, in this video is the lower torso. So we will create a new document and we will name it Lux lower torso and load drawing area. Now this is quite a complicated part, so I'll go through it quite slowly. I'm going to start with a sketch on the top plane, so right click on top plane, select new sketch and then right click and view normal to the sketch plane. We're going to start off with a centre rectangle, centre point rectangle, and we're going to drag that out from the origin, that's going to help us later on as we're trying to make some sort of symmetrical parts. And we're going to dimension that. So the width wants to be 40 millimeters, and the height wants to be 35 millimeters. So that's our starting point, and we can use the scroll wheel to zoom in. Now we're going to take advantage of the uh, offset tool. So I'm going to click on this edge. And I'm going to change the distance to 3. Hit enter. And then I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to click on there. I remember you can change the direction by dragging the arrow. Change that to 3. And I'm going to do that one final time. And I'm going to do the same at the top now as well. So I'm going to use the arrow, drag that in a different direction, double click on the number, change it to a 3, hit enter, and I'm going to do the same again, change that to 3, and hit enter, so at the top I only need the two lines. Uh, I'm now going to use the mirror tool. So for the first uh, mirror line, I'm going to use the edge of this work plane. And I'm going to select the three parallel lines that I added in. And then I'm going to unselect the mirror line and select it again. And this time I'm going to pick this work plane edge. And I'm going to select the two lines there. Um, so those are lots of lines that I'm going to use to create the shape that I want. I'm now going to start cutting away lines to leave me um, that shape. So first of all, I'm going to remove those three lines and those three little line segments. I'm also going to remove that line segment, that line segment, that line segment same on the other side to get this shape now I just need to clean out the line segments that are inside it so that's the kind of top shape that I want I'm also going to get rid of the two lines on the left the two lines on the right vertical parts over here I'm just going to take out the top lines and take out the middle line so I want these two little lugs, and then I'm going to clear out any other lines that would be breaking our golden rule of sketches for any ever having two lines coming away from any point. So that's the shape that I want. So I'm now going to extrude that upwards. A distance of 30. So I'm going to use the extrude tool, change the distance to 30, and use the mouse just to see that I'm going upwards, which is correct. And then I'm going to tick on that. So there we go. I've got the shape that I want. Next, I'm going to build up onto that. 
So I'm going to click on the top surface, right click, new sketch, and I'm going to right click and view normal to the sketch plane. First thing I'm going to do is get a corner rectangle, and I'm going to go from the top left corner, snapping to the bottom right corner. So I've got a big rectangle there. And I'm going to draw another corner rectangle. I'm going to line it up and drag it across. And now I'm going to dimension that. So I want that to be 15 millimeters wide and 15 millimeters tall. And I want it to be 12 and a half millimeters in from the left or from the right. It will be symmetrical. And that's that sketch done. So we're now going to extrude that 10 millimeters. So again, extrude, change that to 10, and just check that that's gone upwards. So here we have our part. Now on here, I'm going to apply some chamfers now. So I'm going to use the chamfer tool. I'm going to change the distance to 7. And I'm going to click on the two side edges and the edge that's furthest away from the square hole. So that's the shape. Our next step is to add in uh, two ribs at the top. So I'm going to right click on this back flat surface, select new sketch, right click, view normal to the sketch plane. I'm going to use uh, a rectangle set, a square rectangle, and I'm going to snap to that corner and drag it up. I'm going to dimension that going to be 25 tall and 3 millimeters wide. And then I'm going to mirror that. So I'm going to use the mirror tool, select the edge of the work plane, and then pick the four entities of that rectangle. And now I'm going to extrude those shapes. Spin that round. Now it's gone in the wrong direction, so change it in the right direction. And in terms of the end condition, I'm going to go up to vertex and I'm going to pick that edge there. No, it doesn't like me doing that. Okay, in that distance, in that case, uh, we'll change it to blind and we'll make the distance 20. Next thing to do is to round off some corners. So we're going to use the fillet tool. We've got the square hole sort of nearest to us on the left hand side. The first fillets are going to be 10 millimeters. And we're going to do these two nearest edges. And then we're going to change it to 15 millimeters to the two further edges. Now time to put some holes into that. So I'm going to spin that round using the right mouse button until it looks like this. And I'm going to click on this surface. Right click, new sketch. And I'm going to draw two circles. Now this one, I'm going to try and line up. There we go. It's going to snap to the middle of that 10mm radius. And this one, I want it to line up above the origin, which is why we 
chose our sketch position as we did right at the start. We dimension those both to six millimeters. And that bottom one needs to be 10 millimeters up to the center. We're going to use the feature tool and we're going to remove material and we are going to go through all our second end position we're going to go through all and in our merge scope we're also going to add part one on there you'll see it's come up as different parts because of the way we've drawn it but we can combine those later click the tick and you should find that you've got holes going through both sides. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a boss in across the middle here. So just turn it using the right mouse button. Right click on this interface and select new sketch. Now we can Turn that around so that we're viewing onto the sketch. So view normal to sketch plane. So although what we're going to do will appear here, it will be on the inside. So two circles. We can pick up the centre of that circle and just drag a circle slightly bigger. And we're going to do the same again and then we can dimension those. So the outer one wants to be 20 millimetres, which will match that radius of 10. And the inner one is going to be 6 millimetres in diameter, which will match the inner circle. And if I just spin that round, you can see the sketch on the plane. I want to see this face because we're going to use the extrude tool. And this time we're going to go up to a face and we're going to pick that face. And it's drawn that in. That looks like we might have picked the... Uh, Oh no, that looks okay. That looks good. Just take it a while for the image to update. Our next step is to add a hole in to the front. So spin it around so that we've got the, the gaps here. And we're going to right click on this surface. New sketch. Right click you know what to sketch plane and we're going to use the center circle tool again line it up with the origin so we know it's going to be central dimension the diameter so that it is six dimension to the center from the bottom so that it is ten and then we are going to do an extrude cut so extrude Go to remove and um, we are going to change the end condition so that it just goes up to next. So it's just going to cut through that wall. Click the tick. And that is that part finished.